everyone. This is the review and unboxing of the George Foreman 200 square inches indoor outdoor grill. We needed a new grill for camping and for our house too really. So because we only camp in campsites that offer electricity, we thought that this was the perfect one for us. We're gonna go ahead and do the unboxing and then the review as well. Here I go. Sure. Hey, I did that good. <laughs> okay, so we have the instruction booklet. This is the actual grill plate. It comes with a stand, but this can just be plugged in and kept on your kitchen counter. All right, got everything out. Lay out all the pieces and then put this thing together. Tonight for dinner, I'm making burgers and fries, and I'm going to test out this new grill. I'm a firm believer in the instruction manual. Ooh, there's recipes in here, too. Okay, so apparently you need a screwdriver, so I will be right back. Okay, I have my husband's fancy screwdriver, so I am ready to go. Now, according to the instructions, the first thing you're supposed to assemble is the base, the pedestal itself. And there's two pieces for that, and it says to connect the two halves, insert the tapered half, into the end of the upper pedestal. Now there's a screw in here, so I'm gonna put these in and then basically just screw them together. Insert the pedestal feet into the pedestal base and then click into place. So I am assuming that these are the feet. Yes, and they're <laughs> no. 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 Okay, so from what I can tell on the box, this somehow... Insert the slotted end of assembled pedestal tube into the center hole of the pedestal base and push down firmly. Perfect. 
place the grill base on top of the pedestal. It's right in front of me. Ensuring hole in center of grill engages with the tube. So there's a hole here, and it's going to go up here. And then there's little brackets. Okay, perfect. Done. Place the drip tray securely in position inside the grill base. I'm trying to show you. Right here, there's a little slot to put this in. Come on. Okay. So far, so good. Let's see what else it says. Rotate the grill base until the notch on the bottom of the grill base is aligned in the slot. We already did that. Position the grill securely. Position probe receptacle through probe cutout in top side of grill base. Probe cutout. Here we go. Place the lid over your grill. Your grill is now ready to use. Okay. okay. However, oh, attach the lid handle from the lid on the inside using the screwdriver. Okay, last thing. Okay. So I'm going to put the screws on the inside. helped me with the lid and I placed it on top of the grill, plugged it in and I looked in the booklet that came with the grill and there's a cooking chart and it says for fresh hamburgers which we're making tonight temperature for 8 to 10 minutes per side until 160 degrees so I set it to 4 supposed to wait 10 minutes for it to heat up and I will be back to try out these burgers. Welcome back. It's been 10 minutes so I'm going to go ahead and open the grill and put my burgers on. I hear a sizzle. And I just have a little bit of teriyaki sauce here that I'm going to brush on each burger. We love bistro burgers, but, you know, at $10, $12 a pop, this can easily be done at home by just adding a few ingredients like teriyaki sauce, mushrooms, onions, and bacon which I actually have been getting ready while I put the grill together. Because this hand has burger juice on it, I don't want to touch anything else. I'm just going to open up these hot dogs for my son and then we'll wash my hands. And it says that in most cases you're going to leave the lid on. So I'm going to go ahead and put the lid back on. <coughs> Refer back to the instructions. 8 to 10 minutes per side. I'll be back in 8 minutes. For the hot dogs it says 3 to 4 minutes per side. So I'm going to go ahead and turn those now. 
Wow, it's really, we got some action in here. The hot dogs look perfect after four minutes. I'm gonna let these burgers sit. I'll be back in another four minutes to get those hot dogs off and to turn the burgers. The fat is dripping down off of the grill into this little tray. So George Foreman grills are supposed to reduce the fat in your diet and you can actually see it happening here. Okay, I'm back. It's been eight minutes and I'm ready to take the hot dogs out and cook these burgers. Okay. So the fat from the burgers really is removed from the burger itself. These hot dogs look perfect. Okay. Now I'm gonna let them cook on the other side for about four more minutes and then I'm gonna add the cheese to the top. So I will be back. I forgot to brush teriyaki sauce on the other side of the burger, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. That way there's a lot of flavor in the burgers. Can you see me? There we go. This is so much easier when I have a cameraman. But I can't pay him, so he can't always be here. <laughs> I'll be back. It's been another four minutes. Everything smells delicious. I can really smell the teriyaki sauce. I'm gonna go ahead and use this paper towel and the tongs to kind of clean up the grill a little bit because I want to put the buns on here. So I thought that I could maybe send some of this fat in the direction of the little chute for it down here so that I can make more of a clean surface for the buns. I want to put the buns on, get the cheese on, let it cook for four more minutes, and then we should be ready to eat. Gosh, they look so melty and cheesy and yummy. I can say that I wish that the lid hinged onto the barbecue. That would be a lot easier if it did that, but it doesn't. Okay, I'm gonna take these ends up. Oh, they are perfect. Perfect, perfect. Delicious. Warm and a little bit toasty. Now, like I said, to make this a little bit more special, like a takeout, I went ahead and cut up some Walla Walla onions and some brown baby portobello mushrooms, sauteed them in a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper, and some seasoning. I don't have my hamburger remover thingy. I'll be right back. Okay, these are ready to come off. I'm gonna go ahead and pop them right on the bun. Now, my final thoughts on this grill is I think it works awesome. I think for us and our lifestyle, it's going to work perfect for camping. 
Um, if we did happen to go to the park where there is no electricity, then that might be an issue, but we do have a backup grill for that. I love that we're not having to buy propane over and over again. And I feel like this is a lot safer. We've had trouble in the past with our other grill, the propane tank falling off. There's been small explosions. I mean, of course, no one was hurt, but it it's a little bit scary when that happens. And propane is expensive. It's over $4 for a can. It lasts about a day. And so we have to constantly keep buying those, especially when we're using them for other things. So I think that if we can get this George Foreman grill on sale like we did, it is a great thing to have for your house and for camping. We're gonna go ahead and remove this part when we do go camping and we'll just have the grill with the lid on it. I could even stick some things inside to save a little bit more space. So my review on this George Foreman grill is it's awesome. I can't wait to use it camping. I can't wait to use it in the winter in my house. And we can also have barbecues in our backyard or front yard. Have a good day.